creepy lesbian <laughs> loving you from afar, right. secretly drawing yeah. you. <laughs> Pillow talk! Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. We are obsessed with a new show. It's because it's got Kate Winslet in it. And ever since Ammonite, Kate Winslet's on our list. Ever since Titanic, mm. Kate Winslet has been on my list. <laughs> it's called Mayor of East Town. Kate Winslet is mayor. Her name. Not, Marianne, I think? No. I don't think it is. She's not the actually. mayor of yeah. the town. They made fun of it on SNL, so you know it's a good show. It's a detective show. There is a murder mystery. A few mysteries actually in it. It's dark. It's kind of funny. And it's way funnier than I thought, actually. It's on HBO or Crave. Crave in Canada. In Canada. It, they're releasing one episode a week, which is smart for them because we keep talking about it. But, but it's, it's bad really for us. It's really horrible because I would binge it in a day. I can't believe we used to live like this, watching an episode a week of a show. Not only is Kate Winslet in it, who's just phenomenal, and you could just watch it for Kate Winslet. Yes. But Kate Winslet's daughter, her name is Siobhan, and she is a lesbian in the series. Every episode has some gayness going on. It does. She has her own, She's also, she she has her funny. own gay storyline. She's got a little gay love triangle happening. Well, that's a bunch of triangle. We're not going to give spoilers about the murder mystery, because, you know, that no. has nothing to do with the gayness. No. <laughs> but if you want spoilers about does. the lesbians. Maybe Siobhan is the murderer. Honestly, at this point in, in this show, anyone could be the murderer. There's one episode left. Oh, well, one yes, left. we've only caught up to episode five. Siobhan starts, she's dating this girl named Becca, who's a total burnout. I think I would be Becca. If yeah. I was in a small town, I'd be Becca. <laughs> Which lesbian from Mayor of East Town There's do only you relate most to? Three. Becca. I feel like I am more of a Siobhan. You are a Siobhan. Yeah. And you would probably date. So I'm, she not, as, really... I'm not as cool. I'm not cool enough to be Anne. <laughs> yeah, Anne's like an older, like two year older. Yeah. Um, DJ. Can imagine like Becca and Anne getting together in no world. Never. <laughs> the fact that she has a choice of two lesbians, Siobhan, <laughs> is a lot. And Becca is that small town lesbian. If you're growing up in a small town, you've dated a Becca. Or you are the Becca. Or you are a Becca. I think the really lesson of this show is if you want to survive a murderer, be a lesbian. Yeah. Every show the lesbian gets killed off. It's like not good to be the lesbian. That's why maybe this show <laughs> is the, the only one that's safe is the lesbian. Only Aaron has been murdered. Yes, except the girl who got pregnant in the kidnapped man's bar. She did probably get murdered. <laughs> Honestly guys, it's very nice to watch. It's also a very amazing show. And then you get the surprise of lesbianisms in it. Like that's like uh, yeah, Bly I, Manor. Even though Bly Manor was just about lesbians. Yes, it was really a love story about lesbians. But like, I like when I go into something to being like, I want to watch this show because it sounds very good. And then yes. I get the extra bonus of lesbianism in it. Literally every episode, I change who I think is the murderer every five minutes. They're obviously pointing you in one direction, which is called what? A red herring? Yes. So you're like, it's obviously this dude. And then one episode came out and I'm like, everyone in this town is a suspect. I thought it was the old lady. It could even be mayor of East Town that did it. We do not know. I think literally that's the only one it isn't. But it could or be. her mom. Maybe it's her grandson. The five-year-old? Do you have a prediction? Because there's one more episode left. Who do you think the murderer is? I think it's the, the uncle. Like, not her uncle. It's like her dad's cousin. The one that where she, he didn't tell her that she was staying over for a month. Yes. And I also think he's the baby daddy. I am going to guess that it's um, Guy Pierce. That's my guess. Oh, the new guy in that in town. New guy in town. He was left out of the episode five for a reason, I think. So far, he's not been very sketchy, but he's like... Which is the number one clue that you're the murderer. But it seems like Erin knew who it was because yes. of the phone call. But would she know some out of town? She was a fan of his book because he said, some people <gasps> love my book. Sarah... She could have been a fan of his book, but I don't know. I feel like his book was written for older women. 
or old people. That's but my guess. That that could, it could be anybody, all right? Could, yeah, it could be me. I could be the murderer. You, are you on the last you, episode? The viewer were the murderer all along. <laughs> This week's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN that you can download as an extension to your internet browser and it allows you to watch movies and TV shows on different streaming platforms from any country. Also, if you wanna check out a website or a video that's been like geo-blocked in your country, which is the most annoying thing, like you wanna watch that SNL sketch yes. about Mayor of Easttown, but they're like, no, no, you in Canada. Or no, no, you in Britain. You could just log on to Surfshark and change the country you are viewing from to set it, let's say, for example, to the US to watch that SNL clip. And Surfshark is the only VPN that allows you to log in on unlimited devices. So Amazing. you don't gotta kick your ex off. Right now they're offering a promo code of 83% off three months for free. Click the link in the description. Use our promo code Pillow Talk. Surf that web, baby. If you're watching Mayor of Easttown, leave a comment, like, most shocking moment. No, that will be too many spoilers. <laughs> um, leave a comment with who you think the murderer is. And Who's please, the murder -derder? no answer is wrong. Except most of them are wrong. But, because there's only one right answer. No guess is too ridiculous. And I have okay. another thing you can also leave a comment with is uh, you're living in this small town. Who are you dating? Becca, Anne, or Siobhan? And remember, I am Becca. But you know what? Becca is that girl, though, that ends up being a total rock star at, like, age 28. And you're like, damn. I feel like Becca is going to have the best glow up. Yeah. And they're going to be at, like, some high school reunion. Siobhan will be like, Becca? <laughs> Pray for and, Becca. and Becca's going to be like there with Kate Winslet as her date, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. Bye.